Welcome to Indie Film Cafe. No, it's um, I've never even imagined or thought about acting. I was born in 1932, so back then uh, when I grew up, there weren't a lot of black stars, movie stars, and of course I didn't know any except for uh, Mantan Wallen and a few. But I never had any aspiration because I never saw many black folks in that media. Um, what happened to me when I was 35? Uh, my life was kind of in a turmoil, and um, I went in the Air Force at 19 to be an electrical engineer. I loved electronics, and I was very good at it. And they promised that to me, but they made me a sheet metal man. And I was very good at that, which I worked at when I came out of service. But then the Lockheed moved, so I had no job. And I started working in a department store, Abraham and Strauss, temporarily. And I wound up being there about eight and a half years. But it was during that period of time, um, I was a supervisor in my department. And I ran and I used to eat lunch with um, Dominican people from the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, uh, Mexico, and Italy. And these were mostly people who didn't have a uh, full education, so they worked as porters and elevator operators and uh, sanitary people. So at lunchtime, we would always talk. Now over a period of, I'd say, three years, maybe four years, we'd play cards and I'd be talking and I'm in there with these old men, old timers, talking about their life. And one day, I really started hearing them. And what I heard all these men talk about was what they wished they had done when they were younger. And it dawned on me, now I'm about 25, 26, come, finished the service, four years in the service. And when I started hearing that, the first day I heard it, the next time I went to lunch, I, I started listening again. And every single day, that's what these men talked about. And I had made up my mind, I was never going to want to have to look back in my life and say, I, I wished I had done that when I was younger, or this or that. Whatever I was going to do or wanted to do, I was going to do. And I made up my mind also, whether it was good or bad, I was going to weigh the two things to see if I could deal with the karma that would come from the bad. And if I could, then I was going to do that. I was still young, and this is what came to my mind. Well, my life got really up in a turmoil. And um, I came home one day, one night, um, and... I remember falling on my knees. I was living in a little, I was divorced, having problems with my second wife, and had this little studio apartment, efficiency apartment. It was tiny. And I was so depressed, I remember coming home from the bowling alley, and I fell on my knees, and I was crying, and my nose was running, and I was, oh, what am I going to do? I don't like my job, and this, I don't know. But now I don't know what I want to do. I always wanted to be an electrical engineer, and I was good at it, but now I don't know what I want to do. So I was frustrated. And in that moment, I started asking God, please, you know what, what's good for me, what you want me to do. You've got to show me because I don't know. And now I heard this voice say to me, try acting. And I panicked. My heart started beating fast. I said, try acting. I'm talking. At this moment, I didn't realize that that was God talking to me because I'm one of these people, hey, God don't talk to nobody. But I heard that voice just as you hear mine. That's all he ever said. And I started saying, what am I, I don't know anything about acting. How am I going to do that? Acting? What acting? I'm 35. What? Then my mind clicked. My best friend had gone to Michigan State, and he'd come home, finished college, and come home with a friend, an Italian friend named Tony from California. His family was in show business, knew Bob Hope and all the people. While I'm ranting there on the floor, like, what are you telling me this? And eh. Call Edgar. 12 o'clock, I pick up the phone. I said, Edgar, look. Call Tony and ask him, what do I have to do to get into acting school? I'd had two years of college. I said, should I go back to school or what? College or what? You know, let me know. Three days later, he told me to go to Gene Franco, Lee Strasberg, or Paul Mann. Turns out these three men started the original actor's studio. 
Gene Franklin and Paul Mann left for whatever reason, and uh, they started their own school. They all taught the same Stanislavski method. But he said, if you could, go to Gene Frankel. So I went straight and found out where Gene Frankel was, and I went to him and I explained him the longer version of what I'm telling you about my life. And it turns out he had similar experience as a young man. And he said, where do you want to start? I said, at the beginning. I don't know anything about this, so I got to... He said, okay, I'll put you in a beginner's class. My nephew teaches. Oh, no, I got to study with you. He said, I don't teach the beginners, but don't worry. You. So I, that's how I got into acting, and I started. And I told him, I said, you know, my coming here is not going to depend upon what you tell me. I had asked God that night when I asked, I want to do a career that's something I love because I want to do it the rest of my life. And I knew I had to love it. And I said to Gene, I said, you know, what's going to determine for me whether I stay and do this is I want to know for myself, first of all, that I can do this thing. And second of all, that I love doing it. And I went in the beginner's class and I remember I would be, all these young kids would come in and I was always looked young so they thought I was their age and I'm 35. They had just come out of college or were still in college and, and some were just studying and so I was paying attention because he got this education, they know this stuff and I don't. So I'm sitting there and I was on every word. The first time that man put me on the stage to do an exercise, I said, okay. My knees started knocking and I'm shaking. And, but I did the exercise and when I finished, it was like, oh man, I, I did this thing. It was, and it felt so good with all the nervousness that I had, the anxiousness. And I put it to use, like he said, when you use that energy. And at that moment, I realized not only could I do this thing, but I loved it. I mean, in that one time, it was just so exhilarating. And from that point on, I, I was supposed to be that beginner's class of the year. And uh, he told Gene that in six months he put me in, the, in uh, his class, intermediate class. And Gene became my mentor. And that's how I got into acting. And he showed me my first job was a disaster. And I went back. I didn't have no job. Uh, I quit my job to take this job. And I went back to Gene. And he said, well, how did it go? And I explained it to him. He said, you should have come to me first. And I would have told you some things, which would have prevented me from even taking a job. So he said, come back to class. I said, well, Gene, I don't have a job. I don't have any money. He said, I understand you do carpentry. I said, yeah. He said, OK, do my office in the outside there for the, at the repertory school. I said, OK. And that's how I got to pay to my way through school. He put me up on the stage that night, because I came back and told him I didn't think I knew anything about acting. It was such a disaster. But I was with people who didn't know anything about acting, who made me think I did. And when he put me on that stage to do an exercise, he said, there's nothing wrong with you. And from that moment on, he was my mentor. And I, you know, it's just been a wonderful life. God opened the door for me to do this. And I realized the purpose he got for me. Uh, I knew once I got to Virginia five years ago why he did this for me. So I now know why. I'm in acting, what I'm supposed to use my talent for. If you have a suggestion for the show, contact us at IndieFilmCafe.org. Hi, I'm Carl Gordon. Listen, do yourself a favor and check out Indie Film Cafe. I do. I think you should also. It is a wonderful, wonderful program. Check it out. ND Film Cafe. And remember, Indie Film Cafe is your connection to the world of independent film. Mm -hmm.